guys. And welcome to the unboxing of the wife's new iPhone 12 Max and a case to go along with it. This is the current iPhone, which is an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, the memory for this phone, I think, is the lowest. Uh, This is the, uh, the lowest you can have for the iPhone 12 Max, which is 'll so I think we'll leave that in there for now won't we for a spare mm. because your one is exactly the same and uh, I'll leave the uh, sticker in there as well don't see you putting that on your phone and then we have this little bit here um, which is about safe handling possibly even warranty information and we have the little key and a little bit of card and then we have our phone so looks like that's on there for protection uh, so that's on there on the screen so at the moment uh, all we have what color is that again the, what color this one mm -hmm. this is what they call pacific blue so obviously uh with how we're recording this you are possibly not going to get the true likeness of the color however check it online and show it in, the, in, the, it in here because light there okay so uh let's um, take off the iphone 11 pro case and there you have a true uh scene there of the color and then you have the color of the iphone 12 pro max now uh the iphone uh for this model the 12 has gone back to the squarer rounding on the on the edge on the side of the phone which was uh, uh, a unique feature in the previous model of the iPhone, possibly the, would it have been the four, perhaps? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, or the five. Uh, it's, we're going back a while now. And I do remember that when they did do that, there was complaints of, of signal, I think, uh, when making a phone call and possibly using your data uh, in the performance when you were on the internet. Uh, those uh, complaints I don't think have been uh, forthcoming uh, on this one uh, on, on the new release of the iPhone 12 but uh, it's fairly early days but I thought we would have heard something by now so here we go we have a gold here that was this is the previous uh, release the iPhone 11 so I can see a difference from from 
that phone to here in the back of the camera if you notice guys they had um white circle there underneath the the one of the camera and compared to that one yeah so uh i'm unable to tell you specifically what the difference is in the cameras uh, compared to both for both of these i don't uh, i wouldn't have thought there's a huge amount of difference because and they do the, look very the light similar. what is that that white bit there compared to the I'm white not sure, not sure. flashlight possibly yes yes i mean that's uh uh work this so we should probably we know the, we should know these kind of things in order to tell you but you know so yes so that's quite bright there so yes yeah. so these two here are the, the lights so the flashlight on the flash. this one is quite bigger well to that one. yes because if we're looking here if we put them side to side mm. we know that it is wider and it is bigger by uh by i would say a good centimeter what about on your uh, phone? Height. On your phone, I'm using to vlog right now. Mm -hmm. Compared to the size, are they different? The iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a uh, very little difference. I think the 12 is only marginally bigger. Okay. Uh, spec wise, it is virtually, I believe, the same, except that uh, the iPhone 12 does have the latest. Is it bionic chip i think it's 14 something like that whereas the iphone 11 has i think 13. so basically in the box if you bought an iphone um 12, 12 pro max it this is what you get the box itself with this mm -hmm. without the charger and just the phone mm -hmm. so that's what you expect to get to receive guys so one thing do you remember uh on the back here it does give you some details about the actual phone it does state there that uh, it is 128 gig of uh, memory uh and it gives you all the details there about the phone IMEI number and so forth uh but it also the iphone 12 pro i believe is 5g compatible whereas the iphone 11 Pro series is not 5G compatible. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure about that. Uh, but uh, 5G isn't exactly on the move right now, to be to be quite honest. But, uh, and I heard quality the of the camera and video is really, really good. Mostly for vlogging, guys. It's really good. So this is what I'm only using on my vlogging, editing, all in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting better quality on that one. I can compare very soon. The weight on the iPhone 12, you will notice a difference when you've been handling something like an iPhone 11. It is heavier. Uh, but uh, for those of you who had an iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, which is what's being used right now uh, to video this, it's exactly the same weight. I'm fairly sure I read that so you don't need to worry about it being heavier uh but it's a good weight it's a good size but it may not be suitable for Small for hand. everybody mm -hmm. uh but you know it does give you a little bit of extra screen size for those who do enjoy watching uh videos on their phones um i know the wife is really looking forward to using it it is a nice color it is a nice color uh, however, uh, the wife has chose to go for uh, an official Apple case, uh, and this is the what I think they call uh, it colour-wise California Poppy. Uh, it's uh, like a mango colour actually, and this is a, a leather case yes. uh, specifically for this iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, not cheap you ain't gonna get any change out of uh, much change out of 60 pounds uh but for the case for, itself for the case itself you're not gonna get much you're not gonna get much uh, hardly any change out of 60 quid if you buy the uh, iphone um price in a retailer how much that will be price wise well the i this model costs mm -hmm. 1100 pounds okay a pound short of 1100 pounds yeah and the case Leather case, which is an Apple one, uh, it costs 59. 59. And the protector? The screen protector, which is on its way, which is on its which is coming from a third party, 
uh, I think was around £16, uh, but then that was with a discount uh, that the website was doing. Uh, and I purchased one for myself as well for my phone, even though I've had my phone for uh, a year now, I think, rather give or take a month. Um, I've never had a screen protector, but I plan on using my iPhone 11 Pro Max for a, a while to come yet, hopefully. So in order to hopefully uh, give it some sell on value uh, when I do come to trade it in or, or change it over, uh, protecting the screen is probably not a bad idea now. So I've ordered one for my wife's phone number for mine. Uh, so there we have it guys, there's not much more to say uh, unless we're going to um, talk about uh, more specifics for the iPhone 12 which I, I must admit I, I don't know uh, really a great deal more on. I uh, but this is uh, this is uh, oh, but this is just a basic overview of unboxing it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, and seeing. Yeah, and I hope we give you um, a bit of an idea, bare idea, and tips what we can give you guys, and hopefully you can grab yourself a new iPhone out there, and see you in a bit. <laughs>